long drive. Wow, my back is shot. Oh. Yes, guys, welcome to Portugal. We are back on YouTube. Sorry for the delay. I think it's been like a year or maybe more. We've arrived in Portugal. Uh, we're gonna be here for the next two months. Myself, my business partner, Jamie, and his lovely wife. Reason being, obviously, it's an amazing place, but we want to zone in the next few months and really scale the business, get some amazing content, and also fly our amazing staff over to just hustle, zone in, uh, and like I said, just scale the business over the next few months. So, right now, I need to get my case out. As you can see, practicality, 101. This is fucking dumb. People are looking at me when I'm driving the roof down, way here. I've got, <laughs> I've got a case covered in a Versace fucking dressing gown. <sighs> I'll get this and then I'll give you a little tour of the house. The plans this evening are going to be going out for dinner, catching up with Jay and his missus and Chris and his wife. Right, so I'll leave this here and uh, give you a little tour of outside. This gaff is amazing, you know, like we get a little fitness content here. So here's the pool where we'll be doing loads of cannonballs. There's Jamie up there now. This is great, so we want to try and use the whole, the reason why we've got the villa like this is because there's loads of different areas of where we can do different stuff. So we could do like a little podcast area up there, obviously up there's for eating and barbecues as well. It's got the balconies, inside it's got a great work area, an amazing living space as well. So the villa's absolutely perfect. So I literally can't wait to start getting loads of content and getting the team out here. Fucking summer. Obviously, a few uh, business parties. <laughs> Here's the big man. Jamie's not mic'd up, so you probably got him. Right, so, kitchen, living area. And do you know what I'm really happy about? Most villas you hire out, they've got shitty couches, but I just can't wait, because obviously when you're a bit hungover on the Sunday or something, you just want to chill. So this is going to be perfect. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to be a little bit hungover. Uh, I'll take you upstairs. So it's got, it's a four bed villa. So obviously people can come and stay, which is great. Uh, I think my room's upstairs, so we'll check this out. So this is my room, where the lack of magic will happen, will not happen. Um, it's funny because <laughs> Jamie's shipping his car out here as well. Uh, he's got an R8 and he's just put an exhaust on it and it's so fucking loud. <laughs> so on a cold start in the morning, I really hope the neighbours don't start complaining. I think we should probably go over and like give them some flowers and like introduce ourselves. Hi, uh, we're Joss and Jamie, total twats. Forgive us for summer, but yeah, this is my balcony. Jamie's balcony is insane. But obviously, he got here first, so he got first dibs, and he's got his wife here, so makes sense. Ignore the mess. Look at this balcony, though; it's sick. And you got the view. What a place! So super excited for the next two months here, man. It's gonna be um, it's gonna be a good summer just come from Marbella as well obviously uh, it's a totally different kind of scene it's hectic it's hard to stay in on a weekend because everyone's coming over it's very touristy I mean it's touristy here but it's a different vibe I think it's more mature and we'll probably meet a lot more business people when you're out rather than just <laughs> everyone trying to get drunk on the weekend I can't wait to go for some food tonight let my hair down and uh, yeah we'll catch up later on
team, what's going on? Uh, so fast forward a week, I just, uh, we need to get settled in. So over the weekend we went out, had some lovely dinners, indulged a little bit too much, might have had a little bit to drink as well. And then we zoned in, which is the reason why we came here. Uh, last week was a fantastic week for work, which I want to speak to you guys about and tell you what I've been doing over the last year or so, because I've been off YouTube. I've been very lazy with it. Um, so I'm going to tell you all about Elevate, the systems we build for coaches to help, help them scale their business massively. If you don't know Portugal, I'm in the Algarve. Uh, this is a very nice area of Portugal for the rich and famous, as you might say. And it's very luxurious. Some of the villas are here, here are so inspiring. It's really um, made me hit home of how I just want to lock in on work and just keep, keep growing, to be honest. But I'm at this gym called the Canvas Gym. The gym's not as meat heady as I would like sometimes, as especially I'm doing legs today, but it is luxurious. So um, yeah, we're gonna go have a workout. I'm gonna do my legs. I've got my leg day shoes on, my vans. Hope there's no shit on the, no, we're clean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna go train legs. Uh, so I'll run you through a leg workout, probably have a little chat afterwards. Go back to the villa. I'm gonna show you the best meal on the planet. It's called the GOAT, greatest of all time. Um, you're gonna be surprised by it as well, I'm sure. And then I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys about Elevate uh, and I'll give you a little rundown. But yeah, let's get this. <laughs> but yeah, let's get this leg workout started and uh, I'll see you in there. Ready for leg day? Am I ready for leg day? No. <laughs> I had, I had, uh, I had crazy physio yesterday. She was elbowing the life out of my quads, so this is going to be quite interesting. But. Uh, they're small, so they need to grow. So, chicken, leg. chicken yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Leg day is never easy. You know what I think it is? People have this romantic idea about setting their mind to do the work. You need to be in a good headspace to do work, do the things you don't like to do, you know? Waking up in the morning, you're meditating, getting your feet on the grass, all that bullshit. You just need to get after it when, and get going straight away. If you can't learn to do the things you need to do when you're not in the right mindset, you're always gonna be waiting to be in the right mindset, you know? You're always gonna be waiting for the perfect time to get started. If you can do it at the most difficult times, you're gonna be able to have consistency to prevail throughout the whole year. Do you know what I mean? Just get going. Warm up, done. This is a microphone in my pocket. I'm not just as happy to see you. <laughs> happy to see you? But I'll show you around the gym. It's probably not got the widest range of equipment for leg day, uh, but we're gonna make do. I had a good session last week doing it, so I'll be focusing on more high volume. Higher reps, lighter weight. No ego lifting today, I'm afraid. I don't think they've actually got the weight, but <laughs> yeah, we'll get started. One of the most irritating things on the planet, right? You know, when you've got ankle socks on. What is that? Excuse the pink and, pink and white socks. <laughs> this woman, with the, she was an amazing physio, but obviously sports massage, tagged in all the knots. Legs are fatigued today, but we'll get through it. So, hamstring curl, trying to stick between like 10 and 12 reps, nothing crazy. Nice, slow, controlled. Uh, so, Exercise number one, down. We're probably gonna move on to do some quads. Uh, downstairs, I think. As you can see, I'm struggling to find equipment. I'm gonna use just a single dumbbell today. So I'm gonna rest this on the other leg. Down nice and slow. Don't lock your knee out. Just go to about there. Get a nice range of motion in, so you're stretching. And try and hit that. 10 to 12 range. Obviously, I'm not going too heavy today. It's 
something very humbling about leg day and a lesson within doing your legs. First off, they're a bitch. They hurt so much, they hurt for days on end. But it's about learning to do the things you don't like to do because you know it's for the greater good. Having delayed gratification, you know? And it puts, implements this mindset and discipline into other areas of your life, you know? Getting up when you don't want to, doing the things you don't want to do because you need to do them, so on and so forth, you know? Do leg day more often, it's good for you. in the kitchen, I'm going to show you, <laughs> it's pathetic, I'm, I can cook but this is like, I'm basically just living as a student in an adult's body. So this is what I eat every day, pot of rice in the microwave, whack it in, because everyone asks like, oh Joss what do you eat, what do you eat to get in shape, so this is it, it takes one minute, it's time efficient, and it tastes fucking great, I'll be honest. So you get a tin of tuna. Drain these bad boys out. Get a bowl because I'm making a new one. Let me drain these. One sec. I'm use a spoon to eat with. Because I'm a child. Because <laughs> it's easier, all right? Get all this in there. Full can of sweet corn. Pot of rice, mash that up. Now I'll be honest, presentation isn't its strong point, but the reason why it's called the GOAT is because it's hitting quite a few of your macronutrients and um, it's really fast and it's pretty yummy. So I'll put mayo, dash of mayo, and then key ingredient, a bit of sriracha sauce, a little bit, a little bit of spice, just a little, a little sprinkle. And then, you fucking know it. Oh. Voila, yeah. the goat. It's literally ready in a minute. I eat this twice, maybe three times a day. It's just, it's great. And it actually tastes really good. So there you go. Recipes in the captions. <laughs> Yes guys, so we're here at Well Beach Club. I've never been here before, but it's beautiful. So I just thought I'd end the video today on um, just talking a little bit about where I've been for the last year, what's been going on within the business and myself. So in my last few videos, I think I was uh, talking about how I was doing high ticket coaching and that was kind of what was being doing for the first year of business when we started it. So literally went from strength to strength. We did over seven figures in 10 months in that. It was crazy, um, but as of recent, it's turned into a full-time business now. There's just under 300 coaches in the agency. Um, we've got like 15 staff, like it's turned into a proper business and it's been so rewarding. Um, so what we do now as an agency is we actually help coaches scale their business, okay? With two systems that we provide, one being a low ticket subscription based model, which is with our software company where we actually build your own application, okay? that's for like for the masses and then also we do our high ticket coaching which is what we which is kind of our roots right um we help people scale doing high ticket packages of like you know charging upwards of 500 a month or 2000 packages you know it's been the most rewarding feeling to be able to help people who were or are in a position that i was like 10 years ago right people don't realize with me i've been coaching i was a pt from like 23 I'm 34 now, right? It's like 11 years, yeah? I started at the bottom in the crappy little gym, working endless hours, probably having like a client a week. Managing to build myself up, got into a private gym, started to get a bit better. I was still, got to a point where I was actually busy all day, most days. I had no time to train, so my actual love of training died. I wanted to get out of the gym that I was in. I, took, I went to go train at other gyms, just to get a workout in, because I hated my environment so much, which is a, another pain for coaches, you know? Um, and then um, I 
took my business online, I created some shitty PDFs with a crappy website and um, I'm not joking, for years I had zero money, I didn't know how to strategize, I didn't know how to grow. Back then it was all about Twitter rather than Instagram. And I do realize I sound like a dinosaur like that, but it is what it is. And so like up until like 27, 28, I, I was still just doing the same thing every single day, expecting different results, you know, just dreaming, dreaming of where I am today, literally. Like, and for us to now build systems, depending on what is best for you, and your niche, we can build a system that can get you from zero to 10K, not shitting you. We say within 90 days, but we have clients doing it within two weeks. Like, it's absolutely wild. We literally help you with your uh, offer creation, content strategies, lead generation strategies, sales techniques, like literally a seven figure sales script that earned, has earned multi millions across the board from us and our coaches, you know? And then fulfillment to get the best results from these clients, right? This can all be done online, which gives you your time back, your freedom. And why did you get into this game? The reason why you got into this game was to help more people, right? You can help way more people worldwide online. I always encourage people to try and make that leap of faith. Go online, you know? And as a byproduct, because you're helping more people online, you'll earn a shit ton more revenue. And then you can reinvest in yourself, do your nice things and stuff like that. So I know what we post on social media, it's kind of douchey, right? And I get it. Um, but it's to grab people's attentions, you know, of what can be done. So when you next think like you're struggling, you just need to implement a few systems to change what's happening within your business as a coach, you know? I've been in this game for like, like I say, 11 years. It's been a long process. For years, I was skint. And it's so good to be able to give back and teach people you know so just for example right we had a guy um, I go about I go on about him all the time it's called Danny Hayes right I posted him literally yesterday uh, this guy was homeless before he was homeless he was in the army he was discharged he was stabbed in the neck then he got went down a dark path became homeless that was last October he was homeless by December he managed to I think he was staying on his friend's uh, sofa uh, he managed to get a loan and in, we gave him an investment for this platform to learn how to do high ticket. He implemented everything step by step by step. Within four weeks, he'd done 10,000 pounds, changed his fucking life. And he, I spoke to him and he's consistently done 10K, 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 and it's now May. Can you imagine the feeling? Not only what he has, I just give me goose pimples. Uh, give me goose pimples. To be able to do that to someone's life in that period of time, you know, that's just one of our systems. That's doing high ticket. Like, another good example of the low ticket system. So, low ticket is for the masses where you charge $50 a month for as many people. This is great for communities, right? So, another client, super proud of it, Harriet. Um, I'll put these profiles on the page um, on the screen. She started in January. She's literally built a six figure business within that time period, January to May. Like, the stuff that we promoting, the stuff that I post on my Instagram and stuff with the, with the graphs, people are like, is it trading, is it a scam, what is it? It's not, these are client results. I'm posting because I'm fucking proud. So like, if you do want to learn how to scale your business and you do, you are interested in coaching or you're stuck, we've got a totally free Facebook group. The reason why we've built a free Facebook group is because we want to build trust between us and you, you guys as coaches, right? Join the Facebook group, I'll put it in the caption below, okay? Totally free. In there, there's gonna be daily tips, weekly seminars with myself, Jamie, uh, there's gonna be constant content, all the other coaches posting their testimonials so you can speak to other people as referrals, you know? Real life stories, yeah? And then if you wanna make a move, you wanna learn how to do high ticket, or you wanna do low ticket, or you want the full agency, we can get into a conversation about that next, you know? Join the Facebook group below, it's absolutely free if you've got any questions i'll see you in there but i just thought i'll give you a little rundown of the last year and a bit i guess it's been um, of my life and uh, i'm so grateful uh, to be in the position that i'm in that i can be help all these people now so yeah i'm gonna wrap up the video now hope you've enjoyed it i'll try and stay more consistent i've got melvin behind the camera give him, i'll give him a shout out <laughs> I'll, pop, I'll pop his instagram in there so make sure you like subscribe and comment below and uh, yeah, peace out guys. Thank you for watching.